right like if this was the magic you know playing some crazy defense contesting every single shot that was taken it would be a little bit of a different story but it wasn't a self-inflicted wound at that point uh, jt the sixers will walk into the ticket with a seven to five record a nearly plus six point differential can you remember the last time a team this i guess quote unquote good was heading to the ticket in this kind of fashion no, which just goes to show you, that's a dog steal by Jay Snacks. It just goes to show you how competitive the league is and how just each team really stands a chance. But it really just comes down to them having a, a more worse turn than tip off. And the tip off, they went four and two and didn't make it out the group. Very competitive group. This time they went three and three. If they go four and two again, they make it out the group, they make it to DC, and they're more than likely a playoff team. So it's just, when we thought they would take a turn after the Radiant trade, which seemed like a better fit for them, just based on familiarity, it just, it wasn't, but they just missed open to end that game, to be honest. Like, it wasn't like they played this terrible game, but like they just missed open, and that was a dog steal in the last minute by the back by Jay Bullen. Yeah, maybe the biggest play that he's had so far in 5v5. HKT GG's asks, does the Magic still have a chance at the playoffs? Yes, they do. Now that they're in the turn, they just got to start racking up wins. If they make it, actually, we can actually answer this question because we know how many points they're going to have. They have 60 points. They're behind Knicks Gaming, who have 80. Because you get at least an extra 10 just from making the turn, that means that Magic Gaming is at 70. So they need to win at least one round for Magic Gaming to officially say that they're going to be in the playoffs. And that that is also has to do with Celtics crossover also losing and not finishing ahead of Magic Gaming. So the Magic could still have a great turn run and still not make the playoffs. Uh, they still got a long way to go. Unfortunate. Hey, but if they go out there and win the whole thing, different story. Man, if they win the turn, that'd be, that'd be an amazing story. Trade DJ, get Fana, get stunted on by DJ in their revenge match, and they still win the turn anyway. Don't hate, don't, don't hate the narrative. Jason has done it a couple times a day, Fry, when he's gone for a jab step or a pass, but he keeps knocking the ball out of his hands. By the way, uh, happy donut day. Ooh, what's your favorite donut, Dirk? Damn, Harris, you know I can go for a good long john. But I like raspberry filled. Raspberry filled, okay. JT, what about you? Favorite donut? Strawberry. Strawberry donut, okay. Lily, favorite donut? I always go for the chocolate icing with the rainbow sprinkles every Ooh. time. Good one. There's something about, like, I think it's the, the raspberry filled glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. Especially, you know, they got like the little thing that like says that the, the donuts being made fresh. Used to have one where I lived in Arizona and it was fire. And, uh, ooh, nice donut. You know, the I'll say this. It depends on the brand of donut. If it's Krispy Kreme, I honestly just like plain. But if it's Dunkin' Donuts, uh, chocolate flakes. 51-46. See if the Mavs can continue to try to chip at this one. Cap having... Phenomenal game, and usually when you see Cap have offensive performances like this, they were on the winning end of things. As wow, hard off the rim, they get the rebound. They call an immediate timeout there for Indiana. If uh, anybody out there is wondering where's Nets GC, where's Gen G, uh, they had a lobby crash uh, moments ago. Uh, the Nets are up 18 there in that one, so we're still waiting for the restart there from the featured matchup. That's why we have the Pacers and Mavs. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna jump into the the Warriors Grizz. Oh, there we go. That was, that's the reason I was saying maybe we shouldn't. It's 77-52. CB13 with 33 points. I always look at like the group play stages and you can see how dominant some people were. All that matters is getting out there to DC and I throw everything away from what I saw on the group stage. We have too many teams that look unbeatable and then they go out there and then immediately lose. That's why I think uh, if the heat check blues, it may it may it may benefit them. What? We we've never had a good six and zero. 
if you go 6-0 in group play, you get the DC. I hope you had fun. That next so fight you, is well, on the way. You think, you think the Heat winning the turn is bad? Huh? I'm talking about group play. Yeah, but like if they're 6-0 and and they get in person and win the turn and they go undefeated... Like oh yeah, I'm, I'm not I, yeah yeah I didn't go that far because then that would be history in itself because every team that goes six, six and zero oh, they they don't do well in DC yeah I was talking about just right now not like if they go six and zero oh and win the whole thing you know if they do that all credit to them but I'm just saying like we've never even had a team go six and zero oh in group play and then make it to DC and even make the finals. It's only it's only happened three times in the last two years. The Warriors did it once. Sorry, sorry, it happened four times in two years. The Warriors did it twice last year, lost both times, won the title. And it's happened two times this year. T was lost round one and the Heat was lost round one. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not like this so is happening at some sort of drastic rate. <laughs> it is though. Like like it's not like everybody can like go. Undefeated, but it's just saying like it's just sometimes good to take that loss earlier than later. It just help. I think winning at all times. Is good. Yeah. And teams don't know how to lose. They get bumpy. Good shot. And there's going to be a miss. Takeover there for Scoria as well. 54 49. What did the Mavs have for us down the stretch? Reese dancing around. Screen doesn't hit with Day 5. They still feed it down to him. And instead of trying to jab step pass fake, just go straight up with it this time. Seize taking his time with this attack. That go out to sub goaded. Back over to Seize. Working out here on the left side, trying to find the angle. Was there an opening? No. Jay Snags goes back over to his point guard. It's now with Cooks. Got to get something up. What a move to get to the elbow and greens the shot. That's demoralizing. That's the more. That's 23 seconds of defense. That's demoralizing. We do our featured matchup back up and underway. Currently an 18 point game. Let's see, see up big time there in that one. As the Warriors won't be able to crack 100, and they go on for a foul there. 98-69, that one will come to a close. Domination to close out the turn here for Warriors Gaming Squad. Two-point game here on the bottom, though. Sees the potential to ice this. We'll go five out. Reese the God in front. Pulls it back. In towards the middle, trying to go into the paint and shoots a contested layup. In and out, Reese the God on the other end. Big two hand slam. We're all tied up at 56. First perfect defense by the Mavs. And that's the one thing about when you run certain plays in five out. When you when your big goes down and his outlet is, is coming out the direction you're driving, it was an easy switch for Jarcy. All he had to do was stay down and hold his hands up. So it'll be a timeout here. Pacers control everything. Either they're going to see a game-winning shot or we're going to be going to overtime. Some bonus basketball here on a Friday. Ben asking if that's the only time teams have gone 6-0. and we, We've only had this 5v5 format for the last two years, so it's it's hard to compare. But yeah, it's been a team in... Yeah, it was, you said four, right? Four. Yeah. Dubs twice, T Wolves Heat. Now it's going to be either the Heat or the Cavs. Mama TV 13 says she'll see us out there in DC. Woo. Dubs family was loud during the finals. That was fun. All right, Pacers. Oh, Five like seconds this. to work with. Sees. Pulls it him. back. Takes the mid range jumper. Sees. That might have just done it with .8 on the clock. It 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 really stings because you have no reason to play his drive that hard.
shots. Gets it over there in the mid-range and a line drive and out. Pacers gaming comes out, secures the win.